a very common question, or to be more precise, a point of confuculation that I see posted not only in the comments right here on my videos, but also in the online radio dork forums revolves around GMRS repeater channels. More specifically, the confuculaarity that surrounds the naming and numbering of GMRS repeater channels. So of course, I, the queen of all that is GMRS and very soon to also be the king of hams radios, I feel obligated to respond and do everything within my vast range of power to deconfuculate this very important issue. And to be clear, I am not making fun of the novice GMRS radio operators that are suffering from this confuculation and asking the questions about these Questions? Nay, this is a completely natural and understandable point of confuculaarity, and thankfully for them, I am the D confuculator. First of all, it is very important that I point out and make it abundantly clear that everything of which I am about to speak applies only to GMRS radios. If you are using a hams radios such as this Bufwang UV5R, widely known in the hams radios world as the best engineered hams radios ever invented, if you are using one of these, then nothing of which I am about to speak applies. Verily I say unto you, the truth of which I am about to bestow upon you applies only if the box that your radio came in said GMRS on it. So if you have a hams radios like the Bufwang UV5R and you are here watching this video because you are confuculated about GMRS repeater channels, then verily I say unto you, you bought the wrong radio. In the exciting and dynamic world of GMRS, there are eight standard repeater channels. And to add to that confuculation, these eight repeater channels are shared with the regular GMRS channels 15 through 22. I am not going to get into how the sharing part works in this video because I have already made multiple videos about that. In this video, as I just told you, I shall be focusing like a laser on the channel numbering of the eight standard repeater channels with the stated goal of deconfuculating the naming and numbering of said channels as there is no industry standard. So first of all, all GMRS radios have 22 basic regular channels. These are what us radio experts refer to as simplex channels simplex but let not your heart be troubled these are just channels with standardized and agreed upon frequencies just like in the olden days with cb radio and as i mentioned to you only a moment ago there are eight standard repeater channels in the gmrs world you can create more customized repeater channels on most radios but those are all still just using the same standard eight GMRS channels or frequencies with custom tones or settings. The actual GMRS repeater channel numbers or frequencies are always limited to those eight standard channels or frequencies. Second of all, on all repeater capable GMRS radios with very few exceptions, the standard eight repeater channels are assigned to channels 23 through 30. And if you do the math, you will discover that this means those repeater channels start where the 22 regular channels end, that being right after channel 22. As previously mentioned, the eight repeater channels are shared with GMRS channels 15 through channels 22. However, they are not the exact same. The repeater channels are special special. But we are not going to talk about how that works because I have already made multiple other videos explaining how they're different. So just take my word for it. However, we will talk about how on some radios, for simplicity, the eight repeater channels are labeled as repeater 15 through 22, as you can see on this Wuxin Ocean GMRS radio. After channel 22, when I go to channel 23, as displayed on the right side of the screen, 
the label shows RPT-15 or Repeater-15. So even though the label says RPT-15, it is still channel 23. And that is the same channel 23 on all GMRS radios. It is just labeled Repeater-15. We then have channels 24 through 30, which are the remaining repeater channels, all labeled as repeater channels 16, 17, etc., etc. Other radios, such as this Alence, which shows two channels at the same time. As you can see, the upper line shows channel 22, whereas the lower line shows channel 16. And for the purposes of this demonstration, I would ask that you please focus your attention on the upper line. This radio uses a different labeling schema for channels 23 through 30, which, if you recall, on the Wuxin Ocean are labeled as RPT-15 through RPT-30. This radio, however, labels channels 23 through 30 as RPT-1 through RPT-8. However, even though the label used for the channels is different, they are indeed still channels 23 through 30, as you can see by the tiny channel number indicator. Just like on the Wuxin Ocean Radio, and it is using the exact same shared frequencies that begin at channel 15 and end at channel 22. On other radios, such as this Bufuang UV5G+, plus, plus, the radio will display the labels on channels 23 through 30 as simply the receiving frequency. You can even see that channel 23 as indicated by the tiny channel number 23, shows the same receiving frequency, 462.5500, as channel 15, which is also 462.5500. However, when I push the transmit trigger, you will see that the frequency changes. And this is because it is on a repeater channel. Again, we are not going to get into the specifics of how or why that is, because I already told you, we are not talking about any of that in this video. So in summary, what I am saying to you right now is GMRS repeater channels on virtually all GMRS radios built after the year of our Lord Xenu 20 and 17 are always on channels 23 through 30. And irregardless of what channel or name or frequency someone tells you to use for any Pacific GMRS repeater, if you paid attention to everything that I just told you, you should always be able to figure out which channel to use for your Pacific radio. <laughs>